Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and this is my second YouTube channel called Poly Pops, where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures that you see here behind me. So I uh, went to the post office the other day to clean out my post office box, and I also at the same time arranged to meet a fellow for a private one-to-one -one sale from a listing that he had on Kijiji. Now Kijiji is basically Canada's version of Craigslist, if you will, except Kijiji is owned by eBay and you can arrange to do contactless payments with PayPal through them, things like that. Anyway, we don't really have Craigslist here in Canada, so many people use Kijiji. So I'm always looking on Kijiji to see who is parting out with older figures from their Funko Pop collection that I need. And I bought from this fellow before. There's another video on the channel of Kijiji purchases where I got uh, my Cookie Monster and my Burton Ernie from this fella. And this time he had another batch of figures that I wanted, so we arranged to meet at the same time that I was going to the post office just to uh, kill two birds with one stone, if you will. Because we always meet at a neutral location. I don't go to... Well, sometimes I do go to people's houses, but I don't really generally have anybody come to my house. We meet somewhere else. So this fella, we always meet at the same place. And uh, I'll show you what I picked up today. So I got, let's see, seven figures from him for... Let's just do everything in U.S. dollars today to keep it easy. So I'm going to show you the values of these as well. So $160 US, 200 Canadian, but $160 US for these seven figures. So I'll show you what I got. First thing that I got was Godzilla from the new movie Godzilla vs. Kong. Now I've had a heck of a time finding the Godzilla figures. Uh, the King Kongs are everywhere. No Godzilla is left on the shelf. He's obviously the winner in this battle between Godzilla and Kong as far as the sale of figures goes because everybody's buying Godzilla and the Kongs are shelf warmers. Now I have, uh, I did get the other Kong, I'm sorry, the other Godzilla recently with the heat ray. You can see on the, maybe behind there, he's got the heat ray that fits into his mouth. This one I found and they, they have weight to them. Like these are very heavy figures but I hadn't been able to find the normal Godzilla. There's all the figures in the back. Um, Mecha Godzilla, I think I got that one from Womps. So I'm pretty sure I have all three Kongs now. These are 10 inch figures. These are much larger scale figures. Don't think I'm gonna get those. So that should complete my Godzilla versus Kong set now. These are just so much heavier. This might be why they, these are harder to find. There may be fewer of these per case compared to um, King Kong because they cost more, more plastic involved. They're so heavy. So that's uh, Godzilla there. He didn't want much more than retail, just a couple bucks over retail. And for the heck of a time I have had trying to find this figure, I just said, whatever, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Uh, let's see. Let's check out the prices as we go here. So for Godzilla, it says Godzilla is worth $19. There's Kong. There's uh, the Heat Ray one that I showed you. That one's $20. Bucks. So $19 US for Godzilla. I paid less. Next, we have Batgirl. So this is a series that... Um, Funko winds up doing every October for breast cancer research and awareness, and they wind up making characters pink. Um, I could show you, let's see, past releases. We had Batman in pink, and Superman in pink. There's also Harley and Wonder Woman, a few different characters that they've done in pink um, for this DC Comics line for breast cancer research, and it says, uh, Breast Cancer Research Foundation in celebration of Breast Cancer Awareness Month Funko has made a, a donation of $25,000 to the Breast Cancer Re sorry to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation whose mission is to prevent and cure breast cancer by advancing the world's most promising research. So that's cool like um, you know people buy these figures and Funko donates money towards breast cancer research. There's going to be another wave of these come out in October because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
So there'll be new figures, but this one, as you can see here, you could only get this one at Target in the United States. So I was happy to get that one to complete my set because I have like all the other pink ones. I, I need the Joker, but I think that was a convention exclusive. So Joker's now the only one that I'm missing from that. And if we check the price on her, it says that this is between $15 and $25. The variants of this, there was a Primark release, which I believe is a um, clothing store, department store in Europe. So that one with the Primark sticker tends to be worth a little bit more. So this one's basically 15 bucks for the Target exclusive. After that, we got da 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 So there's Inspector Gadget, and this is on skates. You can see here it has that Funko Shop green and red sticker. This was a holiday release that you could only buy this from the Funko Shop. And this is obviously, uh, if you're familiar with Inspector Gadget, you know that this character was voiced by none other than Don Adams from Get Smart, which was very appropriate as a, a you know a bumbling spy slash detective. So Inspector Gadget being voiced by Don Adams was a no-brainer. I always love this show. So this is Inspector Gadget where when he, he kicks out the skates, Go Go Gadget skates, and then he would have the um, <laughs> the light pop out of his head and spin around. Well, that was pretty funny. So could only get this one from Funko Shop. So I was happy to get that one from him. Uh, there are two other Inspector Gadgets, as long as Penny with her computer book. But there's regular Inspector Gadget with a magnifying glass and Go Go Gadget Copter flying Inspector Gadget. There's a chase on this one where his badge pops out of his hat, but I don't have that one. But um, I've got everything else. Inspector Gadget now and value on the Inspector Gadget is $16 I believe that other than the chase that's the most expensive of the Inspector Gadget there's the chase you can see how he has the, the hand pop out of his hat with the badge that was the chase of this normal figure here so 16 bucks for the regular one after that we got my first of the Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory figures now when i started collecting funko pops this wave had already been released uh, all the willy wonka and they were on their way out um i didn't really see any in stores to buy i knew that they existed but um never saw any that i could pick up at retail they were already commanding additional money um on the aftermarket and this is mike tv you remember he's the little cowboy kid who couldn't get enough TV and then he winds up going into one of Wonka's machines as all the bad kids never listen to Willy Wonka and he shrunk himself down. You can see there's a teeny tiny little version of Mike TV there in the white outfit with the goggles and stuff. So that's pretty cool. My first ever Willy Wonka character. Look at this wave. Like this is the eight characters there. They have Grandpa Joe, Violet Beauregard. Veruca Salt, the Oompa Loompa, Willy Wonka himself, of course, Augustus Gloop, and of course, Charlie Bucket. So hopefully I'll pick the way at these and get them all eventually. This one's in really nice shape too. So Mike TV, uh, I'd never seen that figure before. I have seen some of these others in, in uh, aftermarket shops for additional money, but my very first of the Willy Wonka figures, and this one comes in at... $23 for Mike TV. I, I think these ones with the little additional side piece characters are really cool. And then having that little mini Mike TV in the corner is pretty neat. Okay, now we're going to move on to the more expensive pieces here. I got this figure from him, which was a New York City Comic Con 2016 exclusive and this is rainbow batman so there was an episode or not an episode i should say a, an issue of the comic book where batman went all technicolor and had that rainbow effect i think it was right around the time i could be wrong on the history of this but i think it was right around the time when the batman tv show from the 
60s it was in its heyday and it was in color so they're trying to like hype up color tv back then i could be wrong about the history of that altogether but uh yeah there's definitely an issue of the batman comic book where he appears like this like a test pattern yeah with all the colors that's pretty cool so convention exclusives are always very difficult to come by and 2016 you know this is one of the older figures in my collection so let's see batman rainbow they call it this one comes in at 38 dollars produced in 2016 yeah that's a that's a neat one it's it's pretty unique to look at too right so i thought that was a pretty cool one that i grabbed from his list of stuff that he had for sale Next, I'm gonna show you a couple of office pops that I got from him. I keep on picking away at this office collection, getting all of these rare versions. Uh, I'm getting pretty close. There's a couple that I really wanna get, which would be Andy Bernard with the banjo and uh, Angela with her cat. Those are two that have eluded me thus far. And um, I actually am missing <laughs> the common Kevin Malone with the big pot of beans. I just haven't picked that one up yet. But uh, you know, I'm working on it. So this is Dwight Schrute. There are so many different variations of Dwight. Like I think he must have like 15 figures by now. We should actually look and see how many Dwight Schrutes there are. So this is Dwight Schrute with Princess Unicorn doll. You can see there he's holding the doll in his hand with her box. So this was one of the episodes where Dwight was taking uh, advantage of his opportunity to hoard a bunch of these princess unicorn dolls which was like the hot doll the hot christmas gift that year and he was scalping them so he had like a ton of these princess unicorn dolls and he was going to sell them all at an inflated price because he's a good businessman that's what you do you make parents pay through the nose to make their parents make their children happy for christmas time anybody any rational person would do that i don't know he's a scalper dwight you're a dirty scalper how dare you how dare you prey on the desperation of parents to make their children happy at christmas how dare you sir anyway so this is the princess unicorn doll version of dwight and this one you could only get online through the funko shop so that's a pretty difficult one to come by uh let's see the dwight books in here at 55 dollars yeah this was coming this came and went in the blink of an eyelash that dwight a lot of the office pops are really hot uh, especially the dwight's and that was very difficult to come by and lastly, we have one more Dwight. This is Dwight Schrute in the disguise where he dyes his hair blonde. I think this is like an, a season one episode where Pam convinces him that he needs to go spy on another branch, but he shouldn't be recognizable. So he decides to dye his hair bleach blonde so that... He'll be more incognito in disguise when he's spying on the other branches in the Dunder Mifflin Corporation. I don't know. So this is, you know, I'm obviously this is the most simple variation you can get. They just, it's a regular Dwight. It's even in the box of a regular Dwight. And then they just paint his hair a different color. The simplest of variations, even the, the side of the box isn't any different like at least princess unicorn is on the side of this box but this is just basic dwight here uh i think it even has the same number as basic dwight nothing's different except for this hair color and you could only get this one at target and it was actually included with uh, a t-shirt pack i believe yeah let's look so we'll bring up the value on this one here 49 dollars for the blonde dwight i actually thought that this was worth more than the um than the princess unicorn but i guess i'm wrong oh i must have been thinking because see it was 60 dollars, but it normally the way that it came was this was in a box with the t-shirt in what looked like a pack of um a couple of reams of the dunder mifflin paper like two packs of paper was what they made the box look like 
and then it had the t-shirt and this pop inside of it let's see can you see this any any other pictures of this no i guess that's it oh there you go so it looks like it's two packs of the paper stacked on top of one another but it's actually a box and this figures inside in this box along with the t-shirt so you got this fact t-shirt for dwight so it was sixty dollars for the whole package that's why i was thinking it was more money than uh, princess unicorn 49 dollars just for the figure so a lot of times people just open those boxes and they pull the figure out and put it in their collection and get rid of the rest of the stuff let's actually see how many dwight's there are now Okay, so there are over 20 figures of Dwight Schrute alone in the office line. Let's check out and see what they are. A couple of them haven't come out yet. They're slated for the fall, but we've seen uh, the release schedule and prototypes, so we know that they're coming, such as this Dwight with the blowtorch and the Dwight with the pumpkin head. I don't know why there's values here because they're not released yet, but okay. Let's see, um, Dwight as Kerrigan, the alien, when he was dressed up one year. This is, we showed this in another video, Dwight Truth. These are the Chalice collectible exclusives from the basketball game, the shirtless chase, and the regular one. Um, Dwight as Recyclops in punishment mode. I think that was the third year of him celebrating Earth Day. Dwight dressed as Pam Beasley. This is that Scranton Boys 2-pack. I don't know why they have... I guess they have listing if you have it separate. Scranton Boys at Electric City. Dwight as the Scranton Strangler. Dwight as Recyclops. That was the second year of him celebrating Earth Day. Uh, there's Princess Unicorn. Dwight as the Dark Lord. That was a specialty exclusive. Dwight with his, his uh, stapler in a jello mold. That's a funny one. This was the first year as Recyclops where he was very gentle and kind. <laughs> Recyclops. I This is one that I am missing, but I have it coming from the UK. It should be here by the end of the month. And I think that's going to complete like all my Dwight figures. Here's Dwight with the CPR dummy mask on his face where he was like channeling Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. Dwight with a bobblehead of himself. I think I have this figure at my mom's house. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure I do have this figure though um, in some shape or form. There's blonde Dwight. Dwight as Belschnickel for the holidays. Dwight as an elf for the holidays. The Hay King Dwight. And okay, that's actually a Jim figure. Jim pretending to be Dwight. And um, there's your basic Dwight Truth. So I have like almost every one now. I think I have everything here. Except for uh, these ones at the top, the pumpkin and the blowtorch. That's crazy that I'm going to have like one of these shelves just going to be Dwight. Huh. That's a lot of Dwight. Okay, so altogether, adding up all the prices on the pop price guide comes in at $215, I believe, unless I missed my guess. And I paid $160, so I think we did pretty good. Um, I was very happy to get the last three figures to get those really rare Dwights and the Batman. And the rest is just kind of gravy, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, another successful transaction with this fellow. I've bought from him three or four times now, and I think we have a pretty good rapport because on Kijiji, you get a lot of people that stand you up. They say they're going to be somewhere, and then they just don't show up. You get a lot of no-shows, and he knows he can always count on me, and every deal that we've had has gone off flawlessly, and I think it's worked out well for both of us. I wind up getting some figures much cheaper than it would uh, cost me to order them online and pay for shipping to get them here in Canada. It's much more... Um, economically beneficial and just easy to meet him uh, and uh, get figures off his list so all right that's all i have for you today thank you so very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video have a great day bye bye